Last night, Kevin Porter Jr. hit a tough ass step back three to win the game. But after he hit the shot, the Wizards commentator said one of the wildest shit I ever heard. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Boy, that one stung. I can't believe he really said that. If y'all don't know, Kevin Porter Jr.'s dad was convicted of manslaughter in 1993 for shooting a 14-year-old girl. He said his gun fired accidentally when he tried handing the girl a gun in his car. His dad also died from gunfire in a bar 11 years after that. So the commentator was probably talking about that situation, which is crazy. Like, what would make him even bring that up? That's super uncalled for. He probably got inspired by these commentators. Here's June. His grandfather died in World War II, took a bullet straight to the head. Such a strong man. But June can shoot the lights out the same way they did to his grandpa, bitch! Well, and then there's one more gun. There's yes, one more gun, yes. but not forgotten, and that's uh, our sweet days or our sweet Lucy. Uh, at the age of 12, she was run over. Oh, yes. in our driveway. Oh, oh, like that? Was she run over like that? But when Bron seen this, he went off on him. He said, "Oh, he thought this was cool, huh? Nah, we ain't going for this. Sorry, but this ain't gonna fly. How insensitive can you be to say something like this? Beat it, man. I pray for you, but there's no place in our beautiful game for you." The Wizards commentator responded to the criticism saying the reason he said that was because he thought KPJ was a son of former Washington Bullet Kevin Porter, but I doubt that's why he said that. But what do y'all think though? Are y'all buying this story or is he capping? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.